Hello there, so today we are going to take a look at some of the modeling tools that we have here, right? Um, like path rev and boundary rev. So when you first start the engine, it's set to selection mode. You can just go ahead and click on it and modeling mode. Then um, we had explained these two before. We are going to explain all this later on uh probably tomorrow but right now what we are focusing right now is these two so path rev uh when you click on it it will give you a screen you can draw lines on it so for me let's move it a little bit up i'm going to create something like Probably something like this would be fine. And there you go. It gave us this weird looking mesh because you know, this is exactly what I've drawn. So it just makes it a circular mesh with, based on the reference I gave it. So degrees would be, uh, 360 would be nice um, Offset of course when you first do it you have no offset whatsoever but when you just rotate the uh, Move the degrees offset it will change the degrees. So just offset it a little bit um, Max degrees You can just mess around with everything. It will just make the mesh more um, simple or it will make it more circular. So if you want like something like a square, you can just go ahead and probably use this. If you want a triangle, you can go all the way through. It doesn't matter. It's, it's gonna be what you want really. Um, height offset is what you see here. So if it's not set to default, you're not going to have a mirrored looking clear mesh so make sure if you want a something that's completely circular make sure this is set to oh not that one yeah make sure this is set to zero yeah it just reverses it nothing specular but flip mesh if you want to use the inside of the mesh for example this is like a dome uh, and you want to have this part of the mesh, you need to check this one out, flip mesh. You need to flip the normals. So by default, the normals are pointing towards the outside of the mesh. But if you flip it, the normals will be pointing at the inside of the mesh. So anyway, we don't want that at the moment. Sharp normals. Um, so right now, everything's sharpened this is something that unreal engine does by default but if you don't want everything to be sharpened you can just check this one out and see how everything gets really ragged and uh, sharp you can even specify the angle for it so if you go all the way up you will lose some of the sharpness but since we are having some really extreme angles, it's not going to work that well. I mean, it's not bad to... Yeah, it's, it's the best it could do. If you want all of them to be completely sharp, you can go something like 20. Probably. Yeah. Um, and that's that. Let's hit cancel. Uh, and there we have another mesh, uh, another function called boundary ref revolve so for that you need to have selected a mesh and then click on it it's saying that for this spe uh, specific mesh it doesn't work you need to either delete a face or use a different mesh so let's do that let's delete a face so poly edit um you know what we can't actually use this one maybe we could create a box of our own and then <coughs> uh, 
Um, and then what I did was just hit poly edit and then select it, delete on my keyboard. Um, and then we have this box without the top uh, face of it. So what we can do right now is uh, me, we can probably change the mesh a little bit. Let's make it a little bit weird looking. Okay, that's cool. So now we can go ahead and boundary wrap. And this is what we get. Doesn't look quite well, but this is what we've asked for. So you can um, change the center of the mesh of the whole mesh and it will, the reference is still the mesh we gave to the boundary revolve. So it will change a lot of things. Again, if you don't want the out, uh, outside of the mesh and you only are interested in the inside, you can uh, click on flip mesh or if you want to change the norm, uh, normal sharpen, you can change it by uh, using this thing here. And again, these are all the same. You can height offset. Um, so what if we have another option? We can just go ahead and draw something on the ground and then use that as our reference. I'm just doing something random. Okay, so... And then we can't, we still can't use this one. So hit cancel, poly edit and delete the top face of it. So boundary rev and here we go. We have something in here. That was easy. You can change the look of the mesh by just moving the transform based on the reference. So, um, that's pretty much it. We've explained everything that was related to it. I mean, not everything. I definitely didn't explain a lot of this in here, which um, are gonna be in another lesson, that's for sure. These aren't for beginners, these advanced things. So this is it. I hope it helped. And if it did, please hit, uh, hit that like button. Cheers.